In this module, we're going to review Lean Six Sigma DMAG, and I'll offer you this quote by Jack Welsh, former CEO of General Electric. Six Sigma is the most important initiative GE has ever undertaken. It is part of the genetic code of our future leadership. So with that, we'll pull together Lean and Six Sigma. Lean is about eliminating waste in the value stream. It's about redesigning processes without waste. It's about reducing time and steps. Six Sigma, on the other hand, is about quality improvement, reducing variation, use, using discipline and rigor of project management. It's data-driven. Y is a function of the X, or the process output is a function of all the process inputs. It's about process control. And when we pull those together, we have this philosophy of Lean Six Sigma and this rigor and discipline of the DMAIC methodology. So to define Lean Six Sigma, it's a breakthrough improvement philosophy of eliminating waste and reducing variation, ultimately to optimize quality, cost, and delivery. And please note, Lean Six Sigma is a philosophy. DMAIC, define, measure, analyze, improve, and control, is the methodology. It's the rigor and discipline to achieve the breakthrough improvement, the philosophy of Lean Six Sigma. Some history on Lean and Six Sigma. Let's take Lean all the way back to Eli Whitney in the cotton gin with interchangeable parts, and Frederick Taylor with standard work, and Frank Gilbert with time and motion study, Henry Ford with flow lines and manufacturing strategy, Duran and Deming traveling to Japan to implement total quality management, and even McDonald's in the 1950s with the fast food speedy system. If you get a chance, Find the movie The Founder. It may be on Amazon Prime, Netflix, or another streaming service. But the movie The Founder will give you a flavor for lean coming into the fast food industry. Then there's Toichi Ono and the Toyota production system. Then we start to bring Six Sigma in in the mid-80s with Motorola and their Zero Defects program. Motorola began formalizing training and certifying black belts. Allied Signal saw what was happening, started to use Six Sigma to, for cost savings. General Electric then launched Six Sigma and claimed in 1998 a billion dollars in savings. Then we jump back to Jones and Womack who traveled to Japan, two MIT instructors who wrote the book The Machine That Changed the World with the first writings of the term lean. Now Six Sigma has developed into a brand and corporate philosophy and we begin seeing writings where Lean and Six Sigma are combined. The first of that is leaning into Six Sigma. Now Lean Six Sigma is global. It's in healthcare, government, education, and service in many industries. So the methodology, DMAIC, first will characterize the current state with define, measure, analyze. In define, we'll create a project charter, a problem statement, a goal statement, a benefit statement. We'll have a project team and a plan and a communication plan. We'll start to document the current state using process maps, SIPOC, input-output maps, swim lanes, and value stream maps. We'll start to analyze potential causes of the problem using cause and effect diagram and cause and effect matrix. We'll collect data. We'll understand our measurement system, its capability. We'll document baseline KPI scorecards and do capability studies on our processes. We'll move to the analyze phase where we'll do graphical analysis, descriptive and inferential statistics, ultimately getting to the root cause or causes of the problem. That allows us to move to the improve phase where we develop potential solutions. We evaluate those with solution selection or impact effort. We'll pilot those. We'll define a future state incorporating lean techniques. We'll conduct failure modes and effects analysis to ensure our future state does not make things worse. We'll use design of experiments just to optimize our inputs to our processes. And finally, we'll have an implementation plan and implement that future state, which allows us to move to the control phase where we'll implement a control plan using things like air proofing, standard work, help chains. We'll ensure and, and validate sustainment of the improvement ultimately getting a project sign-off and celebrating our success. The roles of Lean Six Sigma based on the company's maturity level 
would be a champion. This could be the top leader in the organization, the CEO that's incorporating Lean Six Sigma into the strategic model. It could be managers within a department. It could be you. It could be me. But we are champions of the cause. Then we have sponsors. If you're running a project within a department or cross-departmental, you'll have a sponsor of that project and he or she will be the person with the most to gain or lose based on the outcome of the project. And you'll have mentors or coaches. These are usually black belts or master black belts. The highest level of Lean Six Sigma training and practicing. And then there's us. We're the practitioners. And we may be at any level of skill and knowledge. We start out as a, a Lean Six Sigma white belt. And as we gain skill and knowledge and training and understanding, We'll, we'll start to move to Lean Six Sigma Yellow Belt as we start to incorporate statistical analysis into our DMAIC model, we'll move to Lean Six Sigma Green Belt. Now there's training that goes along with each of these moves from belt to belt. And then ultimately with the highest level advanced statistics, we'll move into Black Belt or Master Black Belt where we become coaches and mentors. The quote by um, Meg Whitman, CEO of Hewlett Packard. Problems are good as long as you solve them quickly. And with Lean Six Sigma Demag, you can solve them quickly. So you can also learn from those. Let's break those down into complexity categories using the 80-20 principle. 80% 80 of the problems typically are basic. We'll typically take a light version of the Lean Six Sigma Demag methodology. You won't pull every tool out of the toolbox. 20% of those will be more advanced or intermediate, yellow belt, green belt, black belt, more advanced statistical analysis. So keep in mind, you may utilize the full power, the full tool set of Lean Six Sigma Demag on the most complex and advanced problems. Or you may use subsets, smaller subsets of the tools and techniques in Lean Six Sigma Demag on lean white belt problems, for example, those 80% basic problems. So pull out the correct tool from your toolbox when you're doing Lean Six Sigma Demag. I'd like to leave you with this. Are you too busy for Lean Six Sigma Demag? I hope you say no. Because if you're too busy every day pulling those carts with square wheels full of rocks to even consider this uh, continuous improvement methodology that'll save you time, make your work easier, improve the quality, improve the output to your customers, ultimately in benefiting the corporation. So please don't forget to download your complimentary Excel toolboxes and those will contain many tools used in Lean Six Sigma Demag as well as these other initiatives. You can find that at valuegenerationpartners.com Simply select the Downloads page. And good luck as you further investigate and consider Lean Six Sigma Demag.